Ricky Tercias is slated to go down against uh, Kevin Natividad. And uh, got to say, Ricky Tercias is a high level prospect, pretty much underrated. And that's something I really don't like about uh, Ricky Tercias. 11 trio, the guy is so underrated, 5 foot 9, 72 inches of reach, fighting out of California. Lost to Eman Zahab, and everybody I really know he's gonna lose, he's gonna lose, he's gonna lose. The guy defeated Ludwig Shalini and Daniel Argueta on TF29, and he defeated Brady Heistand. And now against Kevin Quicks and Natividad, it's gonna be a great fight. 9 3 for Kevin Natividad, 5 foot 6, 17 inches of reach. 2 inches of reach advantage on the end of Ricky Tercios. Kevin Natividad suffered two back to back losses to Miles Jones and then a bad girl at LFA. He was better than Kyle Estrada, Andy Perez, Tomney, Tyler Balecki. He is okay striker, but uh, he's leaving himself open too much, which we've seen in the elite in the fight. In his fights against elite level strikers, Miles Jones and Dana Batgirl. Ricky Tursus on the other side is way more harder to knock out. The only guy who was able to knock him out cold was Mano Martinez. Also, he lost to Boston Salmon, but he destroyed Trent M, which was outstanding and I see Ricky Tercios as a better striker. Natividad is good on the ground, but he needs to drag the fight to the, he needs to, to drag the fight to the ground in the first place. Which I doubt it's gonna happen. Pretty much doubt because Tercios offers very much high level takedown defense. So tonight I'm uh, gonna go with Ricky Tercios. Yeah, Tercios to win.